In the federal parliament, there is no law and order. The following film is a work of satirical fiction. No one mentioned should be assumed to be corrupt. These are their stories, allegedly. We're here, we made it. They finally set up a federal ICAC. Um, what is ICAC? Independent Commission Against Corruption. There's not much here. Not even a phone. I mean, there's only three staff. Doesn't matter. With laser focus, even three bureaucrats like us can take down the most powerful MPs. And I think we all know who we need to investigate first. Christian Angus Taylor. Taylor. Uh, Gary, you start. Christian Porter. He was accused of rape. Allegations that were never properly investigated. He tried to sue the public broadcaster and he was given a million bucks from an anonymous blind trust. Which did get him sacked. As a minister, he's still an MP. Which brings us to Barnaby. Sexual harassment allegation. Which he denies. Affair with his staffer. <laughs> Which he can't deny. He did still seemingly try to cover it up by giving her various jobs and other offices. His involvement in Water Watergate. Charging 675k as a special envoy for drought. And his electorate received 13% of all New South Wales community grants. Wow. He's been doing dodgy political deals since before he was in Parliament. The water buyback scandal, stopping an investigation into land clearing on his own property, and there was that weird forged document he presented after making those allegations against Clover Moore. Wait, I want to change my answer. We should investigate Bridget McKenzie. Sports rods now, bushfires. I want to change my answer too. How come George Christensen spent hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars going to Manila? We're going to have to get scientific. Michaelia Cash in the AFP raid. Mitch Fifield paying Murdoch 30 mil to promote women's sport. Josh Frydenberg giving 400 million to a tiny Great Barrier Reef foundation that wanted to put fans in the sea. Money from the indigenous advancement strategy going to a massive corporation which donates to the Liberal Party. Andrew Lemmy. Andrew Lemmy. Andrew Lemmy. Who was in charge of the car park slush fund? Metaluta Basin. <laughs> a gas project during a climate crisis funded by a major Liberal Party donor. And the Labour Party voted for it. What is the fucking point of the Labour Party? I don't know! <laughs> Someone just for being a cunt. 